This is now largely cleaned up. This is what City Hall looks like now. They've let people in. It's been it's a, about 50 after 40, uh, 7 o'clock. The cordons went off after 7. It's now 8. Actually, no. Take it back to 8 o'clock. Uh, a lot of this has been cleaned up here. Um, and uh, here we are. Um, just watching downtown Reno recover here. Um, there are crews kind of, individuals kind of going through, cleaning things up one by one. Um, I lost my glasses here at this point, at some point. Um, ironically, it's not an office. Unfortunately, sadly, this is where my event took place. And, uh, this is... This is Reno. Yeah. This is literally Reno. City Hall. This is, uh, they're still putting up board, uh, cardboards up on the windows here. Um, and there's still kind of a eerie feeling to this natural woods. You can't tell. Hey, Elliot. Uh, no, the news waits for no one. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though, man. Hey, and so what, brought, what made you decide to come here? <laughs> wow. I'm sore, but otherwise I'm okay. I heard that you may have been beat up. Yes, I did. Actually not far not far from us. Not too far from us. I actually lost my glasses. So and that hurt like hell. <laughs> Happy you're safe, bro. I am too. I am too. Um, but thank you for thanks for uh, thanks for checking, man. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You. Thanks for helping out, man. Yeah, somebody somebody has to. All right. Did that last night. All right. There's a reminder of last night right there. Yeah, yeah I got to see those a couple times. It's a ring. Yeah. Oh, is that from a? Yeah. Ring. Yeah. Now, last night was not. Last night was something else, man. I've never seen something like that. At least in Reno. Yeah, but never, never up close and personal. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I walked under it, and that's what that I saw. Before anything happened. Uh, that that scaffolding. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you're fine, guys. Yeah. Yeah. This is. No, no, no. That was, that was up before the whole shenanigans. Well, guys, I'm gonna let you carry on. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, man. And I think I might go to bed sometime at like three o'clock today. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Mr. Reno's. I know I talked to you a little while ago. Can I ask you again, real quick? Um, real, uh, if you don't mind me asking. No. Um, what made you decide to come down today? Because I love this town, and when you see something like happened last night, you want to try to fix it. And instead of sitting at home and feel powerless, you come out and you do something where you feel like you can make a difference. And a good lesson for the kids, too. Which I know it, you mentioned. Uh, you mentioned there. Yeah, Ben and Ben's fifteen, Nora's twelve. So no, I think it's a good lesson about how to be a good member of the community. Cool. I want to say th uh, thank you for letting me ask you that because I, I, for I forgot to kind of swing by and ask you that. No worries.
Was, uh, that left a hell of an impression of me there. Thanks. Good way to start in the but morning, too. It's, yeah, it's what you do, right? That is true. It's part of living in a civil society. And those of us that still want to live in a civil society, you come and you try to fix the issue. That you can. Huh. <laughs> you know, some of the issues are hard for one person to solve. But you know what? It's easy for one person to grab a room. It's easy for one person to show kindness to another person. Huh. You know, it's easy for one person to treat another person, no matter who they are, with respect. It begins with us. You know, it doesn't begin with the government. It begins with the individual. Huh? Oh. My Elko upbringing. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> well, thank you very much, man. Sorry to bother you like suddenly. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. No. Sorry, guys. No, you're fine, guys. Yes. Hey, uh, hey, Alex. Can I bother you for a quick second? So can I? Oh no, no you're fine. You, I mean, you're fine. I, you're fine. I can uh, talk to you real quick. Uh, I want to ask you. So, uh, what brings you out here, out here today? So I know I came by earlier, and uh, kind of, you know, you're my first person I got, to, you know, came into contact with. By the way, thank you. By the way, well, you're second person I came into contact with, and. Uh, I, um, what were you thinking when you saw the whole thing that was going on on you know on social media last night? No, I understand. Fair. Plus, I don't want to distract you from cleaning up glass. Well, I'm gonna let you carry on. So. <sighs> <We're here. laughs> oh. I'm not going to find my glasses here. Oh, there we are. So, I'm going to kind of keep going here a little bit and just kind of tour the neck of the woods and see what kind of damage we're looking at today. Here. Hey, morning. Oh, I see you everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry about last night, right? Yeah. How could this happen in our community? Well, it's just horrible. Well, I was in the neighborhood. It started out peaceful, and then the bad actors came in, and we know who they are. Well, I am going to openly, I can't, I don't want to, I'm, I'm live right now, so I'm going to put myself on camera. No, 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 it's okay. You know, it's okay. You know what? We'll go have lunch, and we'll talk about it later. Sounds but like it you. was a great uh, protest. It was. You know, it was. It was a beautiful thing. Well, I mean, it, was, I mean, it, it, it looked like a normal protest. Normal and, protest. And although, you know, I followed them throughout and we'll let the facts of the well, investigation no, or this inquiry... No, wasn't, this wasn't the protesters. These are rioters. It's separate. Do you, do, you, do you feel that way? Do you feel or... Well, what makes you think... I guess we can yeah, point to Yeah, because the that. evidence is there. They brag about it. Hmm? They 
brag about it. They're, they're going to come in and, and hijack these protests. Of course. Well, you're right. Maybe it is a conversation for discussion. <laughs> yeah, it is a conversation for discussion because it's not the, it wasn't the peaceful protesters. I know some of those people out there. They're not like this. Mm -hmm. It was other people that came in and they hijacked it. Well, but that's my two cents. <laughs> Isn't that good that I'm American? I can have that. That is the beauty of, of, of freedom of speech. I'll give yes, you absolutely. All right, I will take it from to a guy you. that took a took a took a fist for it. <laughs> I'll talk a, to you. Later. A couple of fists for it. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, take care. Bye. Hi guys, can I ask you a silly question? Oh, okay. Uh, let's do this here. Uh, not on camera. So, is it okay if I just ask you? Oh, off. I'd be happy to answer questions. It's not on video. Oh, okay. Uh, I can come back later if that's okay. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, let's try. That's me, says. Hey, guys, can I uh, ask you a couple questions on camera? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. Sorry, I have credentials. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. So, just want to ask, uh, and then just want to just come up and ask, uh, you know, what made you decide to come out this morning? Uh, because people of color shouldn't clean up the mess of stupid white people anymore. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, besides, I guess that point, uh, were you guys here yesterday at the uh, at the march or? Uh, we went to the peaceful protest that ended at four thirty. Okay. But we did not continue to go to the rest of the march. Did you guys see the other people? We're not part of whatever happened yeah. after. after the march south yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. So so you're with the cleanup of the BMF. B, so this is so you guys are with the cleanup of the uh, B, Black Lives Matter clean, this yes. morning. Okay. I was looking for you guys, yeah. so now I know where you guys are. I mean, I don't know. We just showed up because we saw it on their Facebook page. Okay. But I don't, I don't know any of them. I don't, I don't know where the rest of them are. But okay. Yeah. So you're you're kind of following your social obligation here. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. Fair. Um. Last night, I mean, so I'm sure you saw what happened last night here. Um. Yeah. What? What did it make you feel and think, initially? Um, well, initially, it was frustrating to walk with the protests. There were a number of people who were trying to antagonize the peaceful protests um, and try and get people riled up to hate the police, to advocate for violence against the police. And the Black Lives Matter movement did a really job of trying to keep stay on message for peaceful police reform. Mm -hmm. um, so it's frustrating to watch the start of those antagonizers, and then watching all of this happen is really frustrating to make whole movement like that, and it distracts everyone from the whole point of police reform that's mm -hmm. necessary. Um, and that was also frustrating that the media often chose to focus on the riots instead right. of the peaceful protest. And they didn't make a distinction that the peaceful protest ended at 4.30, uh -huh. and everything after that was not a part of the last So can I ask this, and I, I want to ask this because you were there, and I, I, I guess there's a, this, you're making a delineation that's an important delineation because of the circumstances we're in. Um, you know, because there, there was like a clear like, hey, we're done, I mean, was, was there a clear like, hey, we're done? Yeah, there was. The leaders of the peaceful protest said, we're done, side. go home, don't participate in any mischief. Yeah. They were very clear throughout the whole event, planning it and ending it, that they did not want to condone any kind of violence. Um, and they said so multiple times on their Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. um, and anyway, they have to communicate on social media. They've been very clear. They did not want any of this violence to happen. So... Then the next point I have to ask is because I was there, like at the courthouse steps, wondering, okay, is this thing over? And then there seemed to be a different, like a literally a different tone. Yeah. And I guess some at home may have a question of why couldn't they stop this or why couldn't they say, don't listen to these people? 
Well, they did try to, but obviously you can't force people to do what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. They did everything in their power to communicate that this was not a part of the Black Lives Matter protest. This was not their intention. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, it, I don't know who organized the rest of the march, uh, but we did see a number of most of the people that were calling for people to keep marching were white and okay. not part of the leaders of the protest. Okay. I don't. I, I, and I appreciate you making a delineation and kind of giving, I guess, some perspective. Um, at least in the morning after, because we, I mean, that is a lot of what's going on today. Um, of like how, why, what, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and you were there. So there's a lot of you, like you can give me a layman, you know, cover perspective. Um, so I guess going forward, do you presume that this could, an event like this can happen again? I think that unfortunately, um, after most peaceful protests, there will be people who try to discredit the movement by advocating for violence after a peaceful protest to make it seem like the peaceful protest was also advocating for violence. Right. And I think it's really important that as we continue to protest, as we continue to fight for uh, police reform, right. that we are very intentional about making sure there is a distinction there, that the Black Lives Matter movement is intended to be peaceful, and it is others, maybe even people who consider, them part, consider themselves part of the Black Lives Movement that digress from the official agenda of the Black Lives Matter Movement, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not the Black Lives Matter Movement that's the advocate for us. So I don't, I can't say that it'll happen again, I would assume it will, because it's the easy way to just put it to me. I think you are very thoughtful and very well well thought out answers because I feel like I needed to talk to someone that had a little more like I, I thank you for that I appreciate that it helps a, a lot uh, um, and then I take you're not in the leadership of the organization oh my god no literally okay. have no idea who they are okay so 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 it is you're definitely a layman on this and I would encourage you to try and reach out to them um, I know through their Facebook page, there are two people that organize the protest. Um, and if you reach out to them, I'm sure they'd love to comment and give you more information. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'll let you get back to this. I, yeah. I apologize for taking you away from this so long. That's okay. Um, and thank you for your very well, thoughtful... Well, thank you for people here to help clean up, so... Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your very sound, thoughtful, and even... Thank you. Uh, you're coming prepared. Okay. Oh, you have a good one, okay? So here we are, um, park. I'm gonna look at this work here. The, if you can tell, the bridge is. I didn't need to blow you off. It's okay. No, it's okay. That's not my intent. No, it's okay. I just have a lot of feels right now. This is really hard being down here, seeing all of this, and not seeing our city hurt. And like, I just want you to know I'm not blowing off. Oh, it's okay. Let me. I, you're, sorry, your audio, or audio was. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, it's okay. I don't want to take it first. This is the step that is hurting my heart. This is the language can of, this is the language of the that? police. Or put this on that real quick. These are rubber bullets and flashbang pins. Okay. Right? This right. is the language of the police. And this is what they were using on our people last night. I got those a couple times. Wow. And it hurts my heart. So, I'm sorry. It's if, okay. If you felt like I was going <laughs> no, off. That's okay. I, I, I took a punch last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was not here last night, but this is how I feel like I can support our community. And I don't disagree with what happened last night. Yeah. Like, right into the language of people who aren't being heard. And, I'm Mr. King. Yeah. And I can't, as a white person, I can't relate in a way that other folks can. Mm -hmm. But this is what I can do to help. I appreciate it. Thank you for You're being welcome. here. Oh, you're right. no, thank you for, thank you for caring. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, don't think, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. You, 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 you develop a thick skin in doing this a lot. <laughs> but I appreciate you, that, that, this, that took some courage. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, right, guys. Hey. You mind if I, is it okay if I yeah, film you guys doing this? Okay. 
So if I may ask a silly question, guys, and this is a quick one here. What made you decide to come down here this morning to clean up? This is my home. <laughs> it's, it's Reno. It's our, it's our place, you know. That's my stuff to clean. Clean. I support the message, but I don't want to have to look at all. I mean, a lot of this has nothing to do with the, the protest. There. We need to be part of the solution, and this is the first step in getting back to okay, trying to fix naive, everything. But what's the reference to number 12? Yeah, and see, that's the whole thing, yeah. There's a whole bunch of graffiti out here that's got nothing to do with anything. I love that. Ma'am, thank you. That was perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, the, uh, th perfect theatrics. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I was wondering what the hell the number 12 thing was, too. Thank you very much, though, guys, for letting me ask as you were doing that with those yeah. dangerous chemicals. Well, I'll let you get back to that because that's so gnarly. Yeah. How you doing, man? How are you? Oh, I'm tired. I'm beat, man. I was here last night for this whole shenanigans. I lost my glasses. I got my ass kicked. Oh, man. Yeah, I've been here last night. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Are you light? Hmm? Are you light? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine, man. You're fine. I'm, I'm live, but un un unorthodox. So don't worry, it's not like a network feed or something right now. Sorry guys, I mean, not to say I'm diminishing you guys, just, I'm downtown life. Uh, oh. I'm gonna keep walking, look at my glasses. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of walk through the events of last night in my own memory so we can all kind of Sadly, take a jog through memory lane. Last night, where, where this, right now, where this is being cleaned up, was the, the, the demarcation line for the Reno police and the, 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 the counter, whatever that was after the events uh, today, yesterday. And this has kind of unfortunately been becoming the, the flashpoint, the media flashpoint, the last day or so. Um, it stemmed from here. And you can kind of still see stuff in the ground. Like you can see all this stuff, all the flashbangs, all the, all the just, just the stuff in the ground. And uh, that's what's being cleaned up right now. That is what's being cleaned up. I guess. And uh, um, I'm sure this is a. Uh, this is this is what we're seeing here this morning here in downtown. Um. So just another walk through. I was standing here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was still just kind of walking, <laughs> walking, just walking, walking people through. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. I was standing here when I started watching the first breach at City Hall's doors. As if you remember from last night, it was here. I think the first door to go was right next to the deposit box. Now remember, this used to be the first interstate building um, long, long ago. And that's where the first bats started whacking into the door. And then followed by volleys of, of rocks that hit the upper doors and whatnot. So after the, those volleys started coming, we moved closer to our shots because the volleys became full shots and then full breaches. And then crowds of kids started running in there on both sides. And next thing I know, I saw a bunch of kids running out with a bunch of bottles of water. Um, this is kind of where things kind of got crazy here. Uh, we're in the full, like a whole, scores of kids started running in there and started coming into the lobby and tearing out with equipment and then attempted to try to turn, turn the lobby up on this side which is where the fire damage began 
Um, now he's, you know, things look a lot better here, actually. So, let me try to be careful to try not to be down low like last year. Um, so just to put this in perspective, what these guys are putting themselves through here is they are cleaning up the glass that broke from those breaches from the bullies of the tax that occurred last night. And remember, this took place in 10 minutes. Um, there was 10 minutes of time for all this to happen. And notably, there's a camera up there. And it, uh, I thought there was a camera up there. And that went out first, I think. That was one of the first things that went out, I think. Um, You guys are fearless, I'll give you that. Can I ask you all a silly question here real quick? What made you decide to come here this morning? 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I needed to help. Oh, I thought you asked for time. <laughs> Even more impressive. Uh, thank you, by the way. I've been up all night, so you beat me. <laughs> so you thought you needed help? Yeah. Like, you don't like seeing your own city destroyed at all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you can't even pick up one piece of trash to help, then that's enough, I think. I don't have that much in here, but I've been trying to help. But there's so many people, and, you know, everybody's got every single inch of Reno. Covered with <laughs> uh, uh. Well, thank you for that. No problem. Thank you. And it looks like our numbers have grown here a little bit. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to find my glasses because this is where I lost them when I got hit. Uh, 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 if my memory serves correctly, so I, I remember this is where I got hit here. Somewhere in this proximity. So I get to now have some negative memories of this neck of the, this four corner here. <laughs> when, I, when I drive or something. Um, and I, uh, I remember after I got hit, I was on the ground here, right about here in this general area, um, and, I, and I'll openly admit what I decided to do after I got hit and hit twice and I hit in the back of the head was I decided to curl into a ball and then I heard the phrase, get his camera. And I went and said, okay, I'm tucking this one. Um, and I decided to hold on to the camera. Alright. On the window. So, they're repairing windows right now, guys. So, let's go back to this. So, uh, uh, real quick. So, fortunately, that's when uh, when I got hit, got the volleys, got the hit slings. Um, sorry, there. So to back up here, and then. Um, after that happened, I decided I no, no sorry, I tried to try to hold the camera, and I kind of knew I was going to be getting hurt for a while, and I kind of expected it to be a very painful, agonizing couple of minutes. And thankfully, I guess uh, my colleague Ty was on the outside, made cleared space to get me out, to get me out, and got me out, and that's when tear gas started getting thrown here, and that's when we made our started making our way in this general direction. Um, made our way over here, which is where the park got cleared out. Um, I'm kind of talk, walk, talking, walking over here, walking and talking over here, because uh, this is what um, this is what it looks like here. Still, again, they had to do some major cleanup work this morning. And this is actually cordoned off for the most part, so heads up. Um, we, we made our way out of the park. If I remember this correctly. This wasn't here, obviously.
Um, and the mirror way here across the street uh, to safety uh, the area. And this is when we saw Reno police. This is when the video shows RPD coming in in full force, holding their force protection here. And this is kind of like where we <laughs> made our stand, or at least our, our, our not our stand, but this is when we made our, 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 our hold position until we went back. And I think this is where I left my license. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. This is where. Hey, take care, Andy. Good to see you too, man. I'll try to. And so here we are. This is where things were at. Um, so this is Reno. This is Reno City Hall. I know. Uh, So I'm going to go back and just kind of illuminate what, what we went through yesterday. So uh, we went back in again, as we all know, and this is where the battle of the park began, so to speak. Uh, this is where I uh, decided to we needed to cover this in full and stay and. I, I wasn't going to be discouraged by a simple brawl. Um, and here we are. Now, four, full, not even 12 hours later. Um, we're now here where the city appears to be trying to recover. It and trying to uh, take this place back. Protest, protest. And uh, it's now 8.30, 5. Park is uh, a, lot cleaner, a little bit cleaner. Uh, as apologies, I'm a little tired, guys. So, here we are, back at, square, back at ground zero, where things uh, became what they were. So let's, uh, let's kind of walk down memory lane a little more here. Uh, as we walk down the streets, uh, let's keep walking here. Um, just kind of remind ourselves what last night was like in this park, as this park was the battlefield, the battleground for Reno last night, at least um, what we saw. Uh, light. Oh, the light magazine. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm uh, going to kind of remind myself, this is where I held up my position. On these fields here, they've kind of cleaned this up. But, you know, this isn't so screwing about. You know, it doesn't look like last night. You, you know, balls everywhere. You know, the you know, pepper balls and bullets everywhere. Looks a lot different now. Um, so I'm gonna walk down the street here. Thanks, guys. So. Um, it looks like they're making great strides to clean the that bridge here. So let's uh, let's keep walking the bridge. There's a, you can still see remnants of of the of the stuff last night here as you walk across the bridge, and this is kind of now. Last night is where after the after the battles were kind of done, dark had set in. The true uh, the, the the battle became more of a 
a pitch battle between one side or another, where they, you know volleys and thrusts and volleys and thrusts, um, you could see the damage of the bridge. Um, you could see the uh, so you can see what this looked like. Um, last night I was kind of spent so from this position. I'll tell you where I ended up going. I ended up, you know, imagine that place where, where the where the fire trucks are at is me. I would end up, you know, when when smoke or tear gas got thrown out, the wind would waft it, and I'd end up going back into the, into the plaza. And then I'd have other reporters kind of coming in this way, with kind of with the crowd, which is kind of how the ebb and flow was going that night, the night. And then towards the last push. The goal is to try to get dispersal and try to set up a cordon. So a big set of, of tear gas started flying out towards the park, which is funny because what everyone was used to was it coming towards this way. And it was coming towards us, which allowed them to put a perimeter that way so it could close off the plaza, and then they made the push this way. And that's where we're going, and that's what created this avenue is this being the the main route of dispersal and also where they ended up the next place of however where the where the where the next place of where everyone went is um pioneer plaza and actually right in front of the courthouse so the courthouse became a another casualty of last night and I can show you a little bit real quickly. Right now it's kind of a little protected because there were apparently some some damage. To, there was some damage to the courthouse, I hear. Um, I'm hoping to see it. I don't know if we can see it here. Um, yeah, there's damage to the courthouse. There it is. There it is. Wash County Courthouse. So there's some damage. So a couple, it's just window. It looks like the windows. Um, and yeah. I used to when I lived in other places, it would go out so. and I would want to. Uh, that doesn't happen here. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, the windows, it's just windows. You can kind of see it's just windows. Just windows. And yeah, here you go. And so you can see cars for here too. Um, it looks like the driver of the vehicle here has found their car. Sorry, it's happened to him. Sorry, that's, that's a tough sight to see. So Pioneer Plaza got hit with graffiti. Pretty hard. Yeah. Hey. All right, man. Hey, you need some water? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. you sure? Oh, yeah. I appreciate it, though. It's going to be hot today. Oh, I'll be, I'm going to be done here in a little bit. All right, brother. But I appreciate the concern. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So here's Pioneer Plaza. This is where I saw several groups kind of, you know, kind of getting together here. And um, the damage is more or less on the exterior of Pioneer Plaza. Uh, and the basement looks like it got lucky here because there's a lot of traffic going through the basement parking lot too. I was there towards the end of this whole thing. And that's just, it's graffiti along the line here, really. Um, so, here we go. Um, this is the plaza. Just to reassure you all here, the cameras. May have deterred and may have kept this place safe last night. Um, and right now, there's still a police presence here in the park. Uh, 
Um, here we go. Now, this is kind of where it kind of splits off here. So Patagonia got hit hard. Got hit. Um, this was a neck of the woods that got hit pretty hard too. Um, it got hit pretty hard because of what happened last night. I spoke to the owner of La Familia, um, which I will make a point to come by sometime soon um, after last night. Um, so last night, this neck of the woods was just trash. Um, it was hit hard. Um, it was part of the pitch battle area. This is unfortunately a this is this is kind of one of the tragedies of last night here in Reno. Um, these were uh, these are business owners, local business owners who were hit last night by uh, vandals and uh, those who were involved. And um, my heart, um, I'll be open. My my heart goes out to them. Um, sorry. One thing you should. There are volunteers just walking around this neighborhood, mm -hmm. cleaning this stuff up. When I pulled up, there were 20 people, and they're walking around if you want to catch up to them. But there are just, the community is just... I saw, I was here this morning, I saw that a little bit. Yeah. 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 Is that the owner right there, or is that just the... No, he's working oh. on the building. That's right. one of the tenants over here. Okay. Are you surprised by this? Like, I mean, is this, is this, have you ever seen something like this in our history? No, it's not. It's, uh, well, unfortunately, I think it's a few of the protesters were here first. I don't know yeah. I don't think they were all that way, but it's fair. That's fair. Thank you for that perspective, by the way. Thank you. And uh, so here we are. Um, and I'm glad I got a chance to talk to someone who kind of just gave me a little perspective. And this is, remember last night the Wells Fargo ATM was destroyed. It looks to have been repaired at this hour. Um, at least they repaired or repaired. Um, I'm going to go with that burnout car scene because I would like to see that a little more closer tonight. Um, again, screen. It's right. You deposit any money in the CTM, I can probably tell you this is probably now safe. Or not as at risk. That looks. Um, I didn't do this last night. Um, I wanted to get close up to the IRS building. Um, or at least I think the IRS was a tenant in this building. Um, this is damaged. This was damaged. Now it looks like there are people fanning out doing some work, volunteer work tonight, this that morning, here in the community. Um, I sure heard it was the IRS building, so um, I figure. It's actually not the IRS office. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <sighs> it's got to still smell the smoke. Smoldering smoke. Um, this was a vehicle. Um, batteries. Battery driven vehicle. Um, last night. This is the. This is it. Here. So we're gonna walk up a little. Um, I'm looking at, uh, that's, we're gonna walk around here, oh, this. the 
this, sorry. All right. So this neighborhood, some of the damage is rather superficial um, in terms of, you know, st uh, graffiti and whatnot. Um, but it is damage. Damage is damage. Um, this is kind of where this just took, it was just wanton, rampant damage last night. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna wrap this here. We're gonna go back to the HQ when we're done here. Um, just right now, you can see people driving. Oh, driving. Plus is just this is the, one of the places that was hit last night. Yes, sorry. This is. Hi guys. Hi. Sorry. We take pictures. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. So this was one of the places I was hit last night, and uh, actually I actually have protection to yeah, keep uh, yeah, keep things safe out here. Um. Yeah. This is uh. This is what happened last night down here. So. Now going back, this was what Reno faced last night. This is the day morning after. Uh, in the daylight, in the sunshine. Nice. Nice. A placard? Nice. So, uh, so we're gonna head back to uh, downtown and uh, see how things are going. Things are probably changed a lot. I, I always kind of want to keep going back and forth to kind of give y'all some contrast, see how much time has changed. Just remember this morning when I was here, there was a National Guard right here, basically keeping the peace. And this is the graffiti I'm talking about here. It's community. Apparently Reno showed up this morning. Reno, I feel, showed up in its truest form. People who care about this place. So we're right back to the HQ, to the hall. And uh, I remember this being my last location on site. Uh, this place was a battlefield here. This parking lot was a battlefield where people were running back and forth. Smoke was coming back and forth. Um, I don't know if you can see some of the balls on the ground here, the rings, um, they're probably cleaned up, but, because these things are tricky to ride, drive on. Right. Yeah. This is, this is where it's at last night. You can actually see, actually, you know what? Hey, oh, 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 oh. look at that. It's plastic. Rubber bullet right there. Rubber bullet. Yeah, this parking lot got trashed pretty well. So, let's go ahead and wrap it where we started this morning. Um,
I see this community coming out today. That's good. Sorry, I'm just tired. I mean, really, it's just tired. Um, so. Yeah. We're walking across the running trucky. Yes. And slowly ending this broadcast here. So, here we go. I remember being in the park. This is kind of where, I guess, it's kind of an irony here at the park I was at. Uh, I feel a sense of irony where I stand. I was right here at this post before we left this park. And here we are, leaving. Or tur uh, turning from one to the left. So, yes. Hey. hey, Batman? Yeah. Hey, how are you, man? Donnell. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. Yeah. How you doing? Uh, not too bad. Yeah. Not too what bad. Been, what have you been up to? Uh, working. Okay. Working, yeah, just kind of covering this today and yeah. trying to make sense of all this today. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. How about yourself? We're, you know, I'm a, I'm a pastor. Nice. Yeah. yeah. God bless so you, man. I'm right down here at uh, Living Sounds Church. Nice. So yeah. that's a mystery. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I'm actually, you know, at 9 o'clock, we're going to go live on Facebook and I'm going to do a little mini sermon trying to make sense of everything and try to help people. How do we respond? You know? That's so, cool. Yeah. I'll do yeah. God bless you. Yeah, great seeing you. I think about you every once in a while, man. So, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, good seeing your face. Thanks. Yeah, well, at least half of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a beard. There it is. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Not much, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it. It's, it's my COVID beard. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of it when it's over. Right. <laughs> well, great seeing you, man. Likewise. All right. Take care. God bless, guys. Be safe. All right, so here we go to end this broadcast this morning. Um, so this morning, our community um, our community um, is apparently trying to fix this. And now, this is what City Hall looks like this morning. It is now, looks like it's been prepared, repaired, or at least cleaned up to a level that it's safe to drive. So, guys, I'm going to call this the morning. I'm done. So, that sense my broadcast I hear this morning. Actually, not yet. <laughs> hey. Oh. One sec, we're gonna. I have a question to ask. Oh. 
It's uh, one sec. Yeah, I did. Good old. Yeah, a little, okay? yeah, little, uh, little, little punch to the face. I mean, if you want to do an interview, I'm over here because uh, Absolutely. it's getting hot. Absolutely. Are you okay? Yeah, it's a little sore here. Did you take some, um, like, well, I guess. Uh, Did you put ice on your face? No, no. You should put ice on your face. <laughs> I should. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got, I got a good welt to the head and to the. Oh, Dawn. And it, ha I guess it happened like right there. Oh, Dawn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Welt to the face. It was like a couple punches to the face, oh, head. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's so, hey, I mean, it's I, I did it trying to do my job, so I can't get mad. So I mean, I, and you know, I, I, it is what it is. Um, you know, it's I can't, um, I can't take it back. I lost my glasses and oh, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Another day in the neighborhood. What are you gonna do with the glasses? I gotta go. I gotta go see the optometrist. Yeah, yeah. That's just I gotta see. I, I need a new prescription anyway. Oh okay. I mean, I like the glasses too. They're cool. Yeah. It's only it's only property, yeah. physical stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we got like a lot of hits. So. Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. Good. I mean, so I looked at. I mean, not to not to look at you know my you know use using my pain that way, but yeah. you know it, it helped advance somebody else's cause. Yeah. So it's it's not it's yeah. not for naught. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Pretty good. How you doing? Hi. Thanks for coming so, to clean up. I uh so. I guess I gotta ask this because, um, uh, if you don't mind if I ask you. Uh, no, I'm fine. If you want to do an interview, that's fine. Okay, yeah. perfect. I didn't want to bother you. That's no, it's a, fine. It's fine. Perfect. Um, so, Councilwoman, I'm speaking to Councilwoman Jenny Brackus, who I just ran into as I was getting ready to wrap this. Um, by the way, thank you for obliging to do this. Um, I want to ask, uh, you're here this morning. Um, what do you think? Um, well, it's it's a big, if you look at it just as a property loss to the city, it's a very big property loss. Wow. Inside is devastating. Um, you know, trying to make sense of really what happened last night with the, the two activities. One seemed to have been a peaceful protest that dissipated and then mm -hmm. riot, hooligan activity um, went on that required a huge um, police response to right. quell. And um, then it was nice to see a lot of people who showed up and were sweeping and even caught our city staff by surprise what they were doing. So thank you to all of them. I think I think something like this is going to hurt our city for a while, and it hurt us in our you know our heart. And I think also um, you know we got to make sense of it, and it, it's probably something that's to be made sense of these terrible COVID times too, where there's so much stress out in the world. If I may ask, you know, related to that, because, uh, you know, last night's protest was well, you know, advised in advance and like it was well publicized and everyone said, hey, we're doing this. And they've done this before. Uh, you know, was there an expectation this this could happen? Um, you know, I was somewhat aware that there was going to be a protest um, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But I'd have to defer to the, um, you know, our chief to let them know if they anticipated it going this way. They knew that there are riots going on around the country, so I, I'm sure they had some level of awareness. But, um, you know, it really did go to a place that we haven't seen. I think the last time a curfew and riots occurred was maybe around 2000 with hot August nights. Right. So we have seen this, but it's been maybe two decades. Right. So it's a gener it's a, it's almost literally a generational event. Yeah, yeah, and it's just very unclear. Um, and maybe people need to, you know, maybe they'll be on social media or, you know, self-expressing what they were doing. I mean, if this is someone's only visit into City Hall was to trash our chambers where we try and do the people's work, is um, well, what's their interest and expectations of City Hall? Uh, because. Um, you know, obviously they have some grievance. It'd be nice to know what that grievance is with City Hall. Um, along the same lines, um, and I, I don't mean to, you know, ask a, a, an invasive question, but I just want to put some perspective for people watching about this moment that we're in. Um, we're, you know, you know, I'm sure you watched all these events that happened last night. Like, what? Where were you? Where were you when this whole thing was happening? Yeah, I um, I only live about. 
10 minutes from downtown, although it's not my ward. Right. And I was just at home and I was actually going to go for a, an evening walk through downtown. I had an errand to run. Oh, wow. And um, the curfew came and, and uh, you know, my concern is always for my constituents because a lot of them might not have been in the know and right. we're going to go out for a walk also like me right. because, um, you know, it's windy all day. Right. So uh, I was asked by city officials to put you know, on any social media, I had, you know, a, an expansion of what, you know, has happened. Right. And I think people have been in lockdown and then, you know, they locked down. I didn't see a person out all night. So pretty much, I mean, it was just a continuation of the COVID situation that we've been used to. Possibly, possibly, you know, I mean, I think it was the second night the bars were open. So I was really concerned that it was going to move into the big town area right. or disperse up into the neighborhoods and it did fortunately it did. so that was very good um that it was confined to this this corridor um so yeah so we've had we've had our we've had our brush with this tonight i mean today um you know we've had this event occur with i mean We've, I mean, I guess the question I want to ask real quick is: uh, Is there an is there an amount on the damage we've we've, we've suffered today well, or yesterday? You know, it's it's. I wanted to come in and see the chambers because actually, coincidentally, on Wednesday we have our major property loss insurance policy coming before us. Oh, nice! And so we uh, prepare for things like this, but when you get into insurance claims, you just don't know how it's going to happen. Our organization is very fragile right now. We only, we had about half of our revenues for um, uh, sales tax, right. we learned right now. I mean, we've got a, a well-trained um, uh, police force that trained with their regional partners for terrible situations like this that happen once every 20 years. Right. And I think they did a good job and they should be commended. But our budget is so fragile on top of you know the COVID that, um, you know, it's just like healthcare industries are trying to keep on healthcare week workers. We're trying to keep on the police and firefighters with this terrible budget condition. And now we have to fix city hall too. Speaking of that damage issue, cause I, I, I guess I, I want to relate something that happened to me yesterday and yeah. which we were talking about yeah. before we started, you know, in, in length, yeah. um, you know, before I, I got the, the punch, so to speak, I literally saw a gavel look like it came from the chambers. Um, did the city, did the chambers get breached? Yeah, it did. And you could, I could probably ask someone to let you go in and see it if you wanted photos. I, I, I actually would like to, if that would okay. be okay. Yeah, um, Frank, Frank would let him go in. Yeah. Uh, but, I, I, so does that change, I mean, is that a risk, a security risk for you guys or anything? Or? It just shows that, you know, that's what happened. And I think it will have a psychological toll on our workforce that is already having a hard time knowing that we are going to be doing most likely layoffs again. Right. And that City Hall is not a, a, we're just a very fragile organization. We have an important role to play and now we've been breached even more. But, um, you know, there's a lot of pain and suffering going out there in, in the world right now. And um, I, I think people who are involved in this activity should do some collective help to let us understand why and what their motives were. And I, that's a kind of a good place to wrap because I, yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. you being will, willing to, in this, this is such a just momentous moment in this community's history and for what we're going through. Um, what message do you have to the those who were protesting last night? Um, those who did this yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I mean, if you're uh, disenfranchised and you have issues, you know, you probably do because these are terrible, terrible times and they're particularly not optimistic for young people. But, you know, this city hall is, um, is trying to deliver services like parks, like daycare programs to working families to keep people safe out in their neighborhoods, to respond to wildfire. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we, we uh, now have even harder work to do. So, you know, there's so many ways to get involved. We have dozens of boards. We're always trying to hear what the public says on the important issues. There was an issue this week on how we're selling liquor that I had very concerns about how it was targeting a certain uh, ethnic population in our community. I was the only one raising those concerns. Where was everyone else who was concerned about racial injustice on that issue this week? You know, so 
you want to get involved, you want to learn about the issues that are real specific here on racial injustice, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe follow, follow this. If this is your only visit into City Hall to be damaged, um, you know, I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get Frank in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Thank you for that, yeah, City Council. I yeah, appreciate it. I would recommend getting some ice on that. Even a day later, some ice would help you. I'm going to do that. Because you can be on adrenaline and then really, you know, uh, you could have a minor concussion even. I actually was thinking about that. It's kind Maybe of why I was afraid. Maybe get checked out. Um, actually, I was thinking about that. Why oh, don't you? Why don't you? Oh, hi. Um, let me just, um, hey, I, yeah, hi. How's it going? Good argument. Hey, Bert. Hi. Yeah, good day. That's it. One second. One second, Bert. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, man. Uh, did you need us to talk to Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry? If you were an eyewitness, yeah. maybe reach out to me and let me know a little bit more. You know, take call or something. Yeah. Let me know. Here, here's my point. Can you take uh, Dawn, Hi. who Hi. got beat up last night, oh. and, and should go get checked out for a concussion? Can I bring uh, uh, Bert along? Or? Sure. Can yeah, you I'm let them the inside to see the yeah. chambers? Cool. Thank you. City okay. Council, okay. thank you. Thanks, John. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah, I'm not going to go in again. Thanks, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Frank. I'm Don. Don Day, can you hear me? Okay, Don. Nice, nice to see you. you. Uh, I, I shake your hand, but obviously you know the whole... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You bowl up, as the boss says. <laughs> All right. So, so we're about to go into City Hall here. All right. Oh, uh, here we go. So I broke the inside door windows. Wow, they did a number here. Can I show you something that's absolutely? Right. So this is the USS Randolph. Right now. Uh, oh, Bell. This Navy ship right here, right. in this case, was a flag from that ship. That's oh they, my that's god. That's they burned. Oh my god. That's, they burned the flag from that ship. From this, yeah. from this case, from this ship. And just to put that in perspective. Was that flag? Uh, the flag is from, I think this ship was uh, decommissioned in 1959. So. The bell and the flag along the sea from the Department of Navy. Oh my God! And would you mind identifying yourself, my two? Frank Vera, I'm the facility manager for the city arena. Thank you. Could you spell your first and last name, please? Frank F R A N K Vera A V as in Victor E R A. Thank you, Frank. I'm Bert, by the way. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, thanks um, for thank showing you. us around. Thank you. So, um, oh, sorry. This is inside council chambers. There we go. And here we are, Reno Council Chambers, which was socially distanced. And uh, just to put this in perspective here, this is where city council meets. And uh, <sighs> Um, 